my beautiful people welcome back to alice a's beauty now today man i got a story to tell you guys yes your girl almost got banded from the mall i know a lot of people are like what do you mean how are you gonna get banded i know i know it's crazy let me tell you guys what happened oh my goodness and it's all for these shoes i'm telling you these shoes right here these and these are not even for me these are actually for my son so and these are the air jordan the six retro these are old school. I don't know if a lot of people remember. Most people's parents probably already had these back in the day. But let me tell you a quick long story short because I also vlogged a little bit, which is so funny. But and thanks to my niece, Jalissa, because she's the one that told me to vlog a little bit, you know, when I went and stuff. But I'm going to try to tell you guys the story real quick for you guys. So, you know, take a seat, get some popcorn, get some chips, whatever. I promise I will try my best not to make it too long either. But... All right, here we go. So let me tell you. So my brother, me and my brother are talking about my nephew and my son are bugging me that they want these shoes. And to me, it's like, okay, you know, you guys want these shoes. Like, what is the big deal about these shoes? But I guess it's the same way. You know how us girls, we love our makeup. So, you know, when it first comes out, we want it too. So you know how it is. And then, so my older brother was like, no, no, go ahead and take them. Take them, Cindy. Take them to the store. Take them to the mall. And go get these shoes for us and stuff because I didn't have to work that day. So I'm like, you know, fine. I'll go ahead and take them. And I'm like, okay, so what time should I be at the mall, you know, because this is the first time for me to get in these shoes. And, you know, I guess it's crazy when it first breaks out. You got to get these shoes ASAP. If not, you're going to run out of them. I don't know. And most people, I guess, had a, um, you sign into whatever store, like Finish Line, Full Locker, you know, wh whatever's in your mall. And I guess you register first. Whoever gets registered, they're the ones that are going to get the shoes first, I guess, or whatever. But for us, you know, we didn't get a chance to do that. So it was like first come, first serve, you know, whatever. So I told my brother, you know, what time should I be there? He was like, you need to be there in these, you know, by six in the morning. I'm like, six in the morning for some shoes? Like, what? I'm like, all right, fine. I'm like, and I told the kids, are you guys up for it? You know, my nephew, my son, are you guys up for it? Are you guys ready to, you know, do this then? And they were like, yep, we're ready to do this. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I took my little nap. All right, all right, you guys, let's go. It's five o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, let's go, five o'clock in the morning. So we're up. And next, you know, we get there, you know, everything's nice and calm. Obviously, you know, it's five o'clock in the morning. So next, you know, I'm like, all right, kids, you know, go see if, you know, the doors are open because obviously you can see lights inside the mall, you know. But to me, it's like, you know, see if it's open or whatever. And they go look and it was open, open the door. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, let me go ahead and just, you know, park the car and stuff. Go park the car. I'm going to go ahead and go inside, you know, what other I'll meet you guys inside. So we go in there. There is nobody inside, nobody. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of creepy. And I'll be honest, being in the mall when nobody's there, it feels like, you know, those scary movies, like something just ain't right. I ain't gonna something just ain't right. Mm -mm. But all right, so we were inside and then, you know, we're just chilling. You know, we're at the place that we're going to get the shoes or whatever. And then next, you know, out of nowhere, here comes the security. He's like, uh, ma'am, like, what are you guys doing here? Da, da, da. And I'm like, well, I'm just here, you know, for the kids. You know, I'm going to get their shoes. You know, they're talking about some shoes that just came out, you know, whatever. And then he was like, well, you're not supposed to be here. We don't open till 7, da, da, da. So, like, okay, I'm sorry. You know, I apologize. I didn't know. You know, the doors were open, you know, whatever. He's like, okay, you know, that's fine. Just come back at 7 and you can come back in, you know, whatever. So, then we go back outside. It's 7 o'clock already by now. We're waiting. Like, I'm not even waiting all the way outside. Just like a little, you, you got the door. And then there's like a little space and then there's another door. So we were between those spaces, you know, because your girl is not going all the way outside, you know, in that car and stuff, you know, especially everything dark and no, mm -mm, I ain't doing that. So we're waiting, you know, in there. So next thing is seven o'clock, <clears throat> this other couple comes in. It was a guy, uh, a lady and a kid, you know, a little family and stuff. So they come and we're talking and they're like, oh my God, how did you guys get in here? You know, whatever, la la. And they're like, oh, I was sending them, you know, we got in here, the door was open, you know, that was at 5 o'clock in the morning. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm like, yeah, these kids want these shoes, and she was the same thing, I was talking to the girl, she was so nice and sweet. She was like, yeah, my son wants, uh, you know, his shoes too, da da da, so we're talking about sizes, because, you know, when you're going to get some shoes, they only have a certain amount of shoe size, you know, in stock, so you got to make sure whatever shoes you're getting, they have enough, you know, for you, whatever. So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, so we're talking about shoes, you know, da da da, and then we're chilling, so next you know, it is what is it, 7, 15, 7, 20, so we go in back to the mall, it's not, it's not even, um, 7, 30, it's like 7, 15, 7, 20, because you know how the guys said at 7 o'clock, they open, so we go in there, and then here comes some two other different securities, I don't even know, it's a guy and a girl this time, and they're like, you guys ain't supposed to be here, da, 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 we don't open till 7, 30, and I'm like, well, the guy had told me earlier, you know, you guys open at 7 o'clock. So I thought it was okay for us to, you know, come inside or whatever. And they were like, no, no, no. And this is your second warning. You already had a first warning. I'm like, what? I'm getting warnings already as it is. I'm like, what? 
Oh my god, I'm telling you, it was crazy. So I'm just like, oh my god, I'm not even gonna argue. I'm not gonna act a fool because you know it is not that serious, you know. So I was like, so what time can we come in? They're like at 7 30. So I'm telling you, it was like 7 25. So by the time we're walking back, just an escalator, it's like already 7 30. So I'm like, man, I'm like, kids, you know how about we just turn around, whatever, because it made no sense to go all the way outside. Meanwhile, it's already, you know, 7 25, probably 7 30. Like by the time we came back, walking back, it was already 7 30. So there we go. We're coming back. And then meanwhile, we're going, you know, towards the um, escalator. But they're behind us, the security people behind us. They're making sure we're leaving and stuff. So then we're like, hold on, we're going to make it easy. It's already, I'm, I'm here like, man, it's already 7.30. I'm like, come on, man. So we come back and stuff. And then they're like, no, 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 ma'am. You know what? This is your third warning. You cannot be over here. And I'm like, are you serious? Oh, my God. I'm like, do I really need to go all the way outside? Oh, oh my God. I'm telling you, it was crazy. Believe me, it was a day of a day. So I was like, fine, you know, whatever. I'm going to go outside, go straight where they want me to go. And I'm like, fine. I'm like, once I go outside, I'm telling the lady and the security guard. And especially I was talking to the security girl. I was like, if I go outside, he like, where are you supposed to be at? And even though it's already going to be like 7.35, by the time I get there, I'm like, is it okay if I come back in and still go get these shoes, you know? And then she was just like, yes, yes, that's fine. But the other family, oh, they weren't having it. They were not having it at all. There were no, the, the dad was snapping. He was going off on the securities. They say, right, you know, he just went off. And, you know, my nephew, my my uh, son were like, no, 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 mom, don't even bother paying attention. Let's go, let's go, because they really want to get these shoes. And then, in the meanwhile, we're going, you know, between that time, I forgot to tell you, guys, there was another gentleman who came in. That was maybe, like, around 7, 15. It was just by himself as well, like a younger kid, you know, this and that, maybe in his, you know, early 20s, you know, around that age. And he was, like, talking about the same thing, going to get some shoes. But he had reservations for his shoes and stuff. So, we were like, okay, cool, you know, so we weren't really too concerned about you know, when it comes to shoes, when it comes to him, because, like, he has his own shoes, you know, at reservations, so we were fine, and he was really, really cool, so he was really nice and stuff, so, but we'll talk about him in a minute, because he's going to come into the picture in the future right now, so, okay, so next thing you know, okay, so the guy's snapping, the dad's snapping, I'm going outside, this and that, and somehow, meanwhile, like, they're arguing, but coming towards, like, leaving outside, too, and I'm like, oh my goodness. So then the girl security was like, you know what? You guys got to get out of here. You guys are banning for the rest of the day. Da, 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 da. But she was telling the couple with the kid. And I feel so bad for the kid because the kid was just like, you know, he was just like, he wasn't having, he was so upset and sad, you know, he didn't get his shoes. And hopefully, hopefully they got their shoes somewhere else. I just hope they did because I feel so bad for them because it was a whole misunderstanding. And I feel like when it comes to events like malls, stores you know whoever you need to have yourself organized plain and simple and if you're security you shouldn't be on top of this stuff come on i have talked to the stores the stores should be talking to you guys keep everything you know up to date and stuff <clears throat> all right so next you know okay we're outside me my nephew and my son we're, at, we're right there in the door and i'm like okay can i go back in now you know this and that because it's already like 7 35 and something and the girl was having a fit time like, no 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 you too you're banning from the mall too because you know, you weren't listening. This is like your third, fourth time already. This and I'm like, girl, are you serious? Like, believe me, I was like, I, it took me a minute to contain myself because I'm like, nope, I'm not going to act a fool. I'm like, let me relax. And I was like, you know what? Let me just speak to management. You know, who, let me speak to your supervisor because, you know, I'm not having this. This is just ridiculous. He's like, come on now. Oh, for some shoes, man. I'm telling you, got for some shoes. That's what they got me acting fool for some shoes. But anyways, okay. So then she goes, she goes over there without this now. But I'm not going to lie. I have my. My nephew and my son, I'm like, you know what? Just go to the kids' foot locker and um, just see if you guys could get your shoes. Me while I'm outside trying to talk to the management, you know, people. And then as soon as I'm talking to the guy in management and stuff, I hear, like, on his walkie-talkie, like, through the phone, he's like, you know, the the people are are bagged. They ain't supposed to be in the store. Da, da, da. So, like, these people just got their eyes on us. Like, man, like, you'd be surprised. So, next thing I'm texting my nephew, no, no, you guys come back, rewind. I'm like, come back, come back and stuff. So, it was fun. They're on their way back. But then the guy's like, you know, it's going to take a minute for the supervisor to talk to you because, you know, he's busy at the moment. Da, da, da. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. That's fine. And next thing you know, I see my nephew and my son with someone else coming towards me. And I'm like, oh, man, they're going to be in trouble now. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, Ooh, we don't need this, but it was funny because that was the supervisor. He comes towards me. He was super nice. He was like, okay, ma'am, what is the problem? What seems to be the problem? And I was like, all I'm trying to do is get these young kids some shoes. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to cause no scene, no no big headache, no nothing. I'm like, I'm just trying to get these shoes. I'm like, you can score me in and you can score me out if you like. That's all I need is these shoes. And he was like, okay, you know what? I want everybody to have a good day. I want everybody to just, you know have a fun time, you talking to kids, you know, how old are you guys, you know, what grade are you guys in, you know, you guys excited about these shoes, you know, whatever, 
and you know it was super nice so he just told me you know if you guys have any issues let them let the other security people know that you spoke to me and his name was rob which is so funny which is that's my son's name too rob which is so funny and he was like you know any issues just you know tell him to talk to me whatever if not you come downstairs to the food court you know whatever yeah yeah so i was like oh my god like thank you so much all i'm trying to do is get these shoes and believe me get the heck out of out of here i'm ready to go and so as soon they imagine all this stuff going crazy they had opened the door by 7 30 by this time i forgot what time was it to be honest i can't believe, i can't remember what time is it but it's on my video tip i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna load it after this i'm <clears throat> sorry i feel like my throat but okay so next you know okay we're upstairs you know where we're gonna get the shoes there is a line thankfully it wasn't crazy but there was a line so i'm like oh my goodness i like this is crazy like man meanwhile we were here at five o'clock in the morning and that was my main thing i think for me it was like i'm gonna be at five o'clock in the morning i'm gonna give me some shoes i'm sorry it's one way or another some shoes are coming i don't know how but they're coming but okay so then it's funny okay so they were on the line and then there is the gentleman that was downstairs not the one with the parents and the kid because remember they had left so now is the young gentleman we seen earlier too and then he was in front of the line like in front like the first one in line so I told the kids, I'm like, hold on, I'm going to go talk to him, see if I could go ahead and cut in this and that, you know, whatever. And then so I go and stuff, and I talk to him, he's like, no, no, it's cool, you know, I understand, I feel so bad for you guys, I thought you guys were kicked out, you know, whatever, you guys been here since 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, you guys go ahead. And everybody behind me was cool about it, because they seen security, they seen all this going around too, you know, and the project were coming in the store. So for them, it's like, no, nobody had an issue with it. But then what do you know? Who comes again? Security. So next thing you know, the security guy is like, ma'am. And I'm like, oh my goodness, now what? He's like, my boss said you could be here, but you just can't cut in front of the line. I ain't gonna lie. I almost had a fit right there. I'm like, are we serious? I mean, I don't get wrong. I know it's wrong to be cutting. But to me, it's like, oh my God, nobody was tripping. I'm like, you know, I wouldn't do that. And people were upset or tripping. Of course, I would go back in line. You know, it's not that serious and stuff. So I was just like, you know what? It's okay. You know, whatever. So I just went back in line and we were just waiting there for a while and just waiting and waiting and waiting. And they were letting people in, maybe like five people at a time, you know, because it was crazy. Believe me, it was wild for some shoes, but it was crazy. So whoever is a shoe fanatic, believe me, I know you guys know about this. If you guys love your Jordans, I'm pretty sure you guys know about this situation going on. But okay, so the guy that we had seen them when I had told them about if I could cut whatever, he comes out with some shoes and he coming towards us. And then I'm thinking he's going to be like, you know, I hope you guys get your shoes and, you know, have a good day, you know, whatever. He comes with a pair of shoes for at least one of the kids because you can only buy one shoe per person, you know. So he came out with one pair of shoes and stuff. And he told me, I feel so bad for you guys. You know, I know you guys been here since five o'clock in the morning. I wanted to make sure at least you guys left with a pair of shoes. I was like, oh my goodness, like. I was just like, wow, like, he didn't have to do that, you know, at all. Like, I was just so touched. So, a big shout out to him. I'm sorry I didn't catch his name, but hopefully you know who you are. Hopefully somebody sees this video and is like, oh, you know, you. But, um, oh my goodness. But thank you, thank you so much for doing that. Because so, he didn't really have to do that and stuff. So, we appreciate that so much. You know, at the end, you know, we paid him the money for the shoes. Because, of course, we're not going to accept no free shoes. No, that's not right. You know, at the end of the day, he has to get his own shoes as well. So then, you know, my nephew would let my nephew do it because he was the main one that could bug me from the beginning too about wanting his shoes. So now it's up to my brother and my son to get some shoes. So me and we're scooting up, you know, for the shoes and stuff because they're calling, remember, like five people at a time. You know, some shoes sizes were going out fast. So I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, please let me leave out of here with, you know, some shoes with these two people in lace. I'm like, oh man, it's going to be crazy. But thankfully, everything worked out. We got the shoes, you know, yeah. Everything was fine. We went home. Believe me, never again. I told my brother, this is what you be going through all the time. My brother's like, no. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, this is crazy. I cannot do this. Like, when people do this, like, you know, have you guys ever done that where you guys wait, like, for Black Friday or stuff like that? Now, honestly, I'm not that person that likes to do that Black Friday stuff. Like, no, that's not me. To me, it's like, I'll wait till everything settles down. You know, it's not that serious for me to get the things right away sometimes. Like, if it's really, really, like, I really want to get it. I find a peaceful way to get it. I don't want to be how it was this time. It was just wow. But now I know the mall opens at 7.30. But I did tell the security guard as well. I didn't get it mentioned. But I was like, the doors were open at 5 o'clock when I came in. And they weren't supposed to be, you know, on light at that time. They were supposed to be on light at 7.30. So thanks to me, now they're going to fix, you know, the problem with the doors. Because there was a glitch that was on this wrong. So... Oh my goodness, Vanta, it was wild, it was crazy. But let me know if you guys ever have a crazy story when it came to getting shoes or or something that just came out and you guys went out there and go get it. So, but you know, I'm just thankful, you know, my nephew, you know, my son and my brother got their shoes, even though, 
you know, it was all me. And, of course, you know, they treated your girl for some dinner and stuff. And believe me, my son has been extra nice since he got his shoes. So, you know, but, you know, I do with love. At the end of the day, it was fun. You know, it was something we're never going to forget. Like I told my son and my nephew, they're never going to forget the trip going with me getting these shoes. And I was messing with them. I was telling my nephew, I'm like, welcome to the life of your aunt. You know, he was like, oh, boy. <laughs> like, I see, I see. But... All right, well, I'm going to introduce you guys to the videos that's in here and stuff so you can see the little vlog. Sorry if I talk a little too much, but don't forget, have a great day, and don't forget, you're beautiful no matter what. Bye-bye. All right, I'm in the mall to get some shoes. Look at this. I'm in the mall to get some shoes. These kids got me going to get some new Air Jordans. So I hope they get it because this is crazy, people's crazy. All right, my beautiful people, we're inside the mall. We're trying to go ahead and get these shoes for these young kids. Got me over here. My son, my nephew, and my brother got me over here. Look at this. It's empty in the mall. We're trying to go in there. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. It is cold and I'm so sleepy. It is 5 in the morning. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, my people. So we had a run in with the security guard. He said they don't open the door until 7.30. But I say he failed his job because why is the doors even open? I don't know. And now the doors are locked from the outside, but we in the middle. <laughs> Sucker. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in a minute. Hopefully you don't see us. All right. So they didn't open the doors yet. So we have to go back out and be, we're being escorted. If you notice, the kids ain't too happy. They say yes. <laughs> so we're going to try this one more time. We're being escorted back here. They're making sure we go outside. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, my people, after getting kicked out four times and spoke to the main head honcho of security, he let us in because security was not doing their job. So now we got a line. So as you see, now we're going to have to wait after 5 o'clock in the morning to this time. It makes no sense, but being posted. All right, we're back. We're still waiting. After four hours of waiting. We're still waiting, but a nice gentleman was nice enough to get us a pair of shoes because we've been here. He felt so bad for us. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks like real quick. All right, so this is where all the fuss is about. This is what we are waiting for, which is so crazy. My nephew got the first pair. Say hi. Look at him. Yep. He got it. So, all right. Now we're waiting for two more pairs. Hopefully we can receive them because you know how fast they go. All right. We'll see you in a minute. All right, we are finally the next people in line to get in here. I'm telling you, it's been five hours waiting for some shoes. It honestly is ridiculous. It makes no sense, but these kids want their shoes. They owe me breakfast plus more. So, all right, and we still have a big line. We're just waiting. I'll be back in a few. All right, so the boys are happy. It's been an exciting crazy day i'm tired i'm sleepy look at these kids we got three pair of shoes and one of them nope it's not for me mm -mm. but we accomplished the mission safely no one got hurt we all good all right see you guys soon i'm just tired of sleeping so i'll talk to y'all later Bye -bye.